Hello ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen back here, to the adult scene, Ellie Like, and welcome to another Death Battle Reaction video. Uh, well, a little bit of a different one, but real quick to explain this video a little bit. This video is going to be on Sanji vs. Rock Lee, Death Battle's uh, One Piece vs. Naruto fight. Although, mainly, what you're going to be seeing is just purely me reacting to the actual, like, battle itself and not really the you know analysis portion the post analysis all that stuff you're not gonna be seeing me react to that what you are gonna see is basically just a reaction video of just me watching the fight real quick and that's it I'm trying to do a new format for this uh, series because I think it might be a little bit too long or too bit like drawn out considering that the rest of the video is just you know me reacting to the video anyway, so, yeah, I don't know. This is going to be a new format where I'm just going to do a small introduction like this, talk about, like, my feelings, and then just move on to the death battle itself, and just uh, maybe do a quick little outro, and that's it. Like, I'm not sure. If you guys, like, want me to, like, go into deeper detail as to how I felt about that, you know, like, the actual fights, okay, I'll try to do it. Also, just to state, you know, if you're curious, I did do a reaction video to red, the Red vs. Blue death battle, but that video got corrupted, and I can't use it, so... Can't really do anything about it, so that's why there's no Red vs. Blue death battle, even though I wanted to do it. And just to state, also, I didn't do a reaction video to Batgirl vs. Spider-Gwen because I kind of knew what was going to happen, and... It was a little bit, like, predictable. It wasn't bad, it was just okay, so... I didn't react to it. Okay, but here I'm reacting to this one because it's a personal one, honestly. Because I love One Piece. I'm not sure if I've, you know, demonstrated that enough or not, but I love the series, I love the manga. Have a little bit of a, like, soft spot for the anime, even though I'm not a big fan of Toei's whole situation with the anime, but that's a different story. I don't need to go into it, just look up some videos about it, you'll see what I mean. So, I like the uh, manga series, I like the anime, I, I love the characters, the story, I like everything about One Piece. Including other media that it has, like video games, and some other smaller stuff like the movies. Or, you know, bigger stuff, just, you know, some other stuff. Anyway, the point is, I'm supporting Sanji for this one, so keep that in mind. Lee, Rock Lee, I'm not against. Hell, I kind of liked him when I was watching Naruto back in the back when I was younger. But keep in mind, I only watched Naruto from its uh, Shippuden day. <laughs> no, no, no. From the original like um, anime series all the way to Shippuden, but only the early parts of Shippuden, and that's it. That's all I've ever seen of Naruto. I haven't read the mangas, haven't watched uh, anything further from the anime. All I did, I know some stuff, but that's only because like certain fans. Uh, talk about it, and I've seen them, like, play games about the Naruto story, and they comment on that. That's all I know. That's all I know about. So, I don't hate Lee, it's just that, you know, I'm supporting more Sanji than anything else, so keep that in mind. Anyway, I'll see you when I actually react to the video, so, uh, I'll see you when I start doing that. Okay, here we go. I remember seeing this, uh, you know, preview of it, where Sanji served, yeah, Curry. Um, your face turned red. You cannot pretend as if it's not spicy. Ooh. If they do do 8th Gate and, you know, the raid soon, I'm kind of curious what the sprites might look like. Because they have to, like, make custom sprites for, you know, the raid suit and 8th gate, right? Because I think these sprites come from things before those things were introduced, so. Ooh. Don't you look at me in that toad! <laughs> I, remember, I remember something like that. Is that what it's referencing or something? But Okay, so they're getting drunk and boxing out of the way quickly, so that's fine. Oh yeah, by the way, I kind of, like, no one talks about this, but I think Chakra works to a degree where, you know, you can sense opponents. So, I don't think Sanji's invisibility in his raid suit will help him much. It's more of the suit's uh, speed, attacks, and abilities that really help. Hell, the raid suit actually has a shield with the K 
cape, actually, surprisingly enough. Because you're drunk. Ah, of course. So, yeah, I don't think the right suit's invisibility is going to help that much. Okay, seventh game. Okay, that's the seventh game. Open it already, dude. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> like Sanjay looks pretty good. Uh, like this sprite of it looks pretty good. Like I'm not sure if it's custom or they actually did find a sprite where it used the raid suit. In all honesty, I'd be surprised, but still. <laughs> of course, Phantom Squidward. Of course. Okay, let's see what Rock Lee. Oh, okay. Okay, so it doesn't look. I mean, it looks like. Okay, yeah, red hair, red aura. So that's what it is. Oh, Jesus! Of uh, uh, animation, huh? Oh, he lost his other leg. Still going. Jesus. Jesus. Um, you're going to need um some help there, Sanji. Okay. Well, that was the end of that reaction video. Uh, this one's a post, you know, talkative uh, video portion of the video. Just really quick to state. Overall, I think the video itself was pretty good. There were certain funny parts and funny animational stuff, at least for the post analysis. I do like how Boomstick uh, <laughs> learned the drunken fist style so quickly, but that's about it. Uh, like, you know, at least uh, cer certain things like that are pretty good in the post analysis. The actual fight was pretty funny in certain places. Or at least I thought it was funny just because I made certain things up. Anyway, they were pretty funny. Uh, and the, you know, like the actual sprites that they used for, um, I think for, like, Sanji's raid suit were pretty well done. I'm not sure if there is a game that actually has that particular sprite or something. I'm assuming it's custom made, and the fact that it's custom made, it actually looks pretty good, so I just want to state that. The animation at certain parts was a little bit weird, but it was fine, although it was pretty good, I think. And the fight was pretty epic, or at least uh, pretty fast-paced in its own way. I, I mean, there were certain slight hiccups here and there, but that's uh, really not too bad. It was just a little bit weird, but it's not bad. Overall, though, yeah, I think this fight itself was pretty good, honestly. Uh, the, core, the whole fighting, the animation, the, the humor. The post-analysis did its best to explain what it, like, could. And some of it I can understand and sort of make sense. Um, like some people, it depends. It's like, oh, there's gonna be like completely like different stuff here and there. I think they did a good enough job. Granted, they could have done better, I guess, in explaining certain things, but it's fine. Like for me, I wish they could have explained or at least compared Sanji more to other One Piece characters besides Sorrow, like you know, uh, Marco, who was able to fight Kizaru himself. I'm pretty sure like Marco could slightly be compared to Katakuri since he's like the second hand of the Whitebeard Pirates, uh, who's also a Yonko, who also, you know, is slightly comparable to Big Mom. I mean, like, both of, the, both of them, like, Big Mom and, like, uh, uh, what was it? Yeah, like, uh, oh yeah, Kaido and, uh, Shanks have fought together, fought against each other, and they sort of compare to each other, so it's not unreasonable to say you can compare Big Mom to Whitebeard, so, I don't know. Uh, so, I get, but I get it, maybe they didn't want to because that would be a little bit too much, I don't know. All I do know is, is that I think the whole video itself did a decent enough job and explained itself as well as it could. I'm not saying it's like perfect, but it's good, I think. I don't know, maybe they missed a couple of stuff, I don't know. I, that, that's just getting into very defined specifics though. So, yeah, I think the video itself was pretty good. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time in the next video. Until then, sign on my bots. Take care.